Hey guys, the Cube Dude here, and today I have an unboxing from the cubicle.us. But getting into the package, there should be about five puzzles in here. Um, I've been pretty excited about this package because a this is only one of the this is one of the only packages that are coming around this time during spring break, and b because there's some awesome puzzles in here that I had no clue that the cubicle actually sold. In here, we got five puzzles and also a free sticker set because there was a sale. In here, you can already see we have uh, my color scheme using the cubicle stickers. I usually get from the Cubesmith, so I decided to get my color scheme from the cubicle.us just to see what that was like. There's some bubble wrap, the cubicle.us card, and then these five puzzles. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is that the Scan 3 box is actually very different than the other boxes, but I'm going to go in uh, order. Or actually, I'll start with the GANS 3 since I mentioned that. So here is the GANS 3, the 57mm. I think it's like the version 2, but a bigger version. They got the Octopus Core. So let's take a look at that. And I will be comparing it sort of just briefly to the V2. And inside are some stickers and a uh, the tool to, to tension it. Alright, so a lot of people are kind of excited about this puzzle, I think. Or at least I am because the centers have been rounded and the stickers fit the actual uh, cube nicely. So this feels very loose, it feels kind of unstable. Let's try and make it pop. Oh, we can corner cut over 45, that's really great. This puzzle feels really nice, very smooth. There is definitely some lube in there. And let's take a quick look at the pieces. Here are the pieces. Pretty much no gap. So here is a centerpiece. It's more rounded off, as you can see. Alright, so I actually really like this GANS 3. Let me just compare the size with the other GANS 3 puzzles. This is the version 2, the smaller version. So you can see it's a bit bigger. And it feels a little bit nicer in my hands. I don't know, that might just be me, but... This is very smooth. It does feel a little bit unstable, but it is stable. This definitely, I'm pretty sure it won't pop. Let's try reverse. Oh, reverse is really nice. This is a really nice puzzle. I really like it. It's very smooth, very fast. I like the logo. I don't know why. I like the stickers on this puzzle. Next, we have the Type-C5 version 2. So this already feels a little bit smoother. First turns, really nice. Let's see if this is a pain to take pieces out of and put back. So here's the pieces. Or the edge. Alright, so overall I think this puzzle has definitely improved from the V1. It's a lot smoother. It feels a lot more stable, and I'm going to quickly compare it to this. It has a bunch of signatures. If you guys see your signature, let me know in the comments. This is one of my favorite ones. I think this is Victor. So, Victor, if you're watching, it's great. I have... Oh, we got Convinza. We got Convinza. Matt Svalk. Uh, Albert Yu, I think. We got Ken the Cuber. JD Adams. Uh, a bunch of other Cubers, but... It just feels a lot more stable on the Type C5 V2, and also the corner cutting is a little bit better. Now onto the puzzles I was most excited about. Uh, I'll do it in order of excitement. The most, the one I'm most excited for last. But here we have the Trifums Dynomorphix. This looks very interesting. I've always wanted to get it, and finally I was like, "Oh, the cubicle has it, and they have fast shipping, so get it from them." So the first thing I noticed when it came out of the box is it's a lot heavier than I was expecting. The stickers are very nice, they're already kind of peeling because it's curved. It tends to happen. One way to fix it is you get a uh, blow dryer and you put it on like hot or warm and then you like try kind of like mold it down into the plastic. So this is a dino cube pretty much, I think. And I'm actually just going to scramble this and I'll solve it a little bit off camera. Alright, and a piece already popped, that's lovely. These pieces are just catching on the centers and catching on other 
pieces, this puzzle is popping like crazy. Alright, now, this puzzle turns great once it starts turning, but then it starts catching on these centers and other pieces. I'm gonna, I'll have it solved by the end of this unboxing, I promise. You'll just see it randomly just solved. Anyways, here we have the Curvy Copter Plus, and the difference between this and the regular Curvy Copter, you guys can probably already tell, are these pieces right here. Alright, so I got it to the point that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, once it's like in a position like this, you could turn it, and then this piece comes along with it. On our normal helicopter cube, this whole entire block would be blocked off, so I'm pretty sure I couldn't turn that, because these two pieces are one. But here, it's a lot more difficult, because now you got more, even more jumbling going on. So this should be really fun to try and figure out how to solve. It turns alright, I guess. It's not it's like really smooth. But once it starts jumbling, it's a little bit less smooth. But I guess it's kind of expected because pieces catch. And there's all those tiny pieces inside. Anyways, let's get on to my favorite puzzle, or the one I think will be my favorite of this unboxing. The Pitcher Octostar, which kind of resembles a Diane Wheel of Wisdom. And I actually sold mine, and then I ordered a stickerless one. I usually just destroy these boxes because I don't really want to keep them. But it resembles a Diane Wheel of Wisdom because it has these uh, little stickers. I'm not sure if there is a stickerless version of this, but it's kind of like a Wheel of Wisdom and a 3x3 combined. You, or you could scramble it like that. I'm actually just going to go ahead and scramble it all the way. And some cool things you could do, I think, are moves like this. Yeah. So you can move it like that. So it gets all jumbled up and it's really cool. Alright, so I think this is fully scrambled. I'm going to go ahead and try and solve this now. It should be pretty interesting. I'm probably just going to be messing with this puzzle the whole entire day. But anyways, there's that quick unboxing from the cubicle. I do have some ghost cubes coming from Mefferts. Kind of wanted to keep it a secret, but I kept telling a bunch of people. But the one thing I'm kind of annoyed with is I ordered the Oscar treasure chests after I ordered the ghost cubes. And I still have not gotten the ghost cubes, but I got the treasure chests. So... I don't know what's going on, and Light Take is not sending me my Dianma for some odd reason, so I ordered it from the cubicle, so I should have that in about three to five days. So hopefully I'll have that unboxing for you guys later. But all these puzzles are great. I especially love the Scans 3, the bigger version, the 57. I highly recommend you guys get this Scans 3. It's a lot better than the other ones, in my opinion. Corner cutting is a lot better, it's like line to line reverse corner cutting, so by like a whole QB. And I would just sort of tighten it a little bit to make it feel a bit uh, more stable. Alright, so as you guys can see, I solved the Dynamorphics. And it is really easy. It's a great puzzle. It's pretty fun. I'm probably going to be messing with this all day. As well as this. Because this is really hard. I fiddled around with it for about a minute. And my brain almost exploded with confusion. But if you guys want a challenge, get this Pitcher's Octostar on the, on the cubicle for $28 or $32. I forgot whether this was $28 or this was $28. But one of these is 28, one of them is 32. The GANS 3, great puzzle. I wouldn't really recommend the Type-C 5B2 because I don't really think it compares to all the other speed cubes out on the market right now. But the GANS 3 uh, B2 57 definitely does. I really love this puzzle. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing from thecubicle.us. If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions on how to improve my videos, please let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and read the description for the Letter War winners. This video's letters are AJD. Read the description if you are confused about what these letters are for. Discounts and coupons can be found in the description as well. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.